Hello everyone, and welcome to Expedition Erudite, Wild Wednesday. Across the planet, many animals find their very existence threatened. Whether it be by poachers, or the changing climate, or just good old-fashioned survival of the fittest. Every day we are losing animal species forever. Some of these are small animals that most have never heard of, while others are larger animals which have permanent places in the human psyche. One of the groups of animals that have found themselves amongst endangered species for decades is a 50 million year old walking tank. And today, we will take a broad look into that beautiful beast, which also happens to be my personal favorite animal, outside of dogs, the rhinoceros. So, strap on your knowledge knapsack, and let's launch today's Expedition Erudite, Wild Wednesday. Over the 50 million years rhinos have been evolving, many separate and entirely unique species have developed. Out of the many species that have walked the Earth, only five still remain. The white rhino, primarily found in Africa and split between northern white rhinos and southern white rhinos, the only subspecies we'll look at today, is the largest of the species and can be identified by its broad, square-shaped mouth adapted for grazing. The white rhino's counterpart, the black rhino, is also native to Africa. They possess a more pointed, prehensile lip for browsing shrubs. Black rhinos are typically smaller than the white rhinos, and their front horns are also usually longer. Venturing into Asia, the great one-horned rhino, recognizable by its single horn and armored skin appearance, roams the grasslands and forests of the Indian subcontinent. The Javan rhino, one of the most endangered mammals in the world, inhabits the dense tropical rainforests of Indonesia, bearing a striking resemblance to the great one-horned rhino, but smaller in stature. The Javan rhino's looser skin gives it one of the smoothest appearances, and like the great one-horned rhino, the Javan rhino has just one horn. Lastly, the Sumatran rhino, the smallest among the five and covered in a coat of reddish-brown hair is found in the dense forests of Sumatra and Borneo. Like with many mammals, rhino mothers have incredibly strong parental instincts. A fierce bond develops between female rhino and her calf, lasting for several years or until a new calf arrives. The mother tirelessly protects her young, even fiercely defending against potential threats like big cats. Beyond protection, she offers a comprehensive education, introducing her offspring to essential survival skills, from locating water sources, to identifying nutritious plants, to understanding social dynamics. While mothers and calves often form the core of small social groups, adding an extra layer of safety and social education, male rhinos remain distant from this nurturing role. In fact, mothers will vigilantly keep their calves away from unfamiliar or aggressive males. There are many documented incidents where a male has killed a young rhino due to potential future competition and because the presence of the offspring can prevent the male from mating with the mother. As the calf matures, the mother gradually encourages its independence, ensuring the continuity of these magnificent creatures and their wild habitats. Across the five extant, or living, species, rhinos exhibit a range of social behaviors. The southern white rhino stands out as the most sociable, often forming groups, especially among females and their young, while their northern counterparts historically displayed similar traits, though their numbers have dwindled so drastically that there are no real social behaviors even able to be displayed. More on that in a moment. Black rhinos, great one horn rhinos, and javan rhinos typically lean towards solitude, with adult males particularly valuing their independence. However, 
both black and great one-horned rhinos might congregate around rich resources like water holes. The critically endangered Javan and Sumatran rhinos living in dense forest habitats are incredibly elusive and primarily solitary, with very limited data on the detailed social behaviors. Male territoriality is a common thread across all species, but the degree of social interaction varies significantly among them. One thing that all of the five living species share is the threats against them. In fact, the threats against them have been so severe that there are only two northern white rhinos left. Both are female and neither have the ability to carry pregnancies through artificial insemination. Southern white rhinos, once down to just a few hundred in population, have the highest number of currently living specimens at roughly 16,000. The black rhino has around 6,200 individuals and the great one-horned rhino's numbers hover at around 4,000. Alarmingly, the Javan and Sumatran rhinos, with fewer than 80 and 50 specimens respectively, are among the rarest large mammals globally. But what are the threats? Well, the biggest threat currently, and for pretty much the last several hundred years, is that of poaching. Poaching has had a profoundly detrimental impact on rhino populations, driving many species to the brink of extinction. Fueled by a lucrative black market, rhino horns are highly sought after, particularly in some Asian countries due to unfounded beliefs in their medicinal properties and their status as luxury items. This intense demand has led to rampant illegal hunting, decimating rhino populations at alarming rates. As poachers employ increasingly sophisticated techniques, often facilitated by organized crime networks, the threat intensifies. The loss of these animals disrupts ecosystems and hinders biodiversity. Beyond the immediate population decline, poaching has triggered a cascade of negative effects, including genetic bottlenecks from reduced breeding pairs and increased stress and trauma within rhino communities. Though poaching is the biggest threat, rhinos are also under threat from other influences, such as habitat loss, the aforementioned genetic bottlenecks, and even war. All hope is not lost, though. Conservation efforts for rhinos have become a global priority given the critical state of their populations. Various strategies are being implemented to ensure their survival. Anti-poaching units and ranger patrols have been bolstered in many rhino habitats employing advanced technologies like drones and surveillance systems to monitor and protect these magnificent creatures. This also includes armed guards which protect the final two northern white rhinos 24 hours a day. Translocation projects are undertaken to move rhinos to safer areas or to introduce them into regions where they've been previously wiped out. In addition, Captive breeding and sanctuary programs aim to increase numbers in a controlled environment. On a broader scale, public awareness campaigns and education initiatives have been crucial, targeting both areas where rhinos live and regions driving the demand for rhino horns. International collaborations, treaties, and regulations further aim to curb illegal trafficking and promote the shared goal of rhino preservation. There are also plans being worked out to use northern white rhino eggs from the remaining two females, inseminating them outside of the animal, then implanting the fertilized eggs into a southern white rhino for gestation. Things may be dire for many of the remaining rhinos, and the future for them especially the northern white rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino, is not looking good. However, nothing is certain for these amazing beasts. With constant advancements in science, 
the growing attention of the public, the vast array of conservation efforts, and a proven ability to succeed in these efforts, as seen by the increase in southern white rhino numbers, there is still hope. We can't sleep on our laurels, though. If we become complacent and efforts slip by even just the tiniest margins, many rhinos could be lost to future generations. And what a shame it'd be to have a world without these grand and ancient animals. Thanks so much for coming along with me on today's Expedition Erudite Wild Wednesday. And until next time, everybody, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep learning.